Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm behind the wheel of a Jeep Rubicon Unlimited and I'm gonna drive it off-road. I am having a wonderful time. Oh my gosh, I've forgotten your name. This is I'm why I'm bad at one-on-one -on -one people <laughs> talking. You guys may not know that about me. I'm not so good at one-on-one -on -one people talking. So Rebecca is awesome and has let me drive around this Rubicon, which you guys know how I feel about these. I set my heart to pitter-pottering and one day I will have one again. But anyway, I just went out on the dirt road and it was awesome. And I'm trying to get back to where the I have to course. hand it back. Oh, I get to go on the obstacle, obstacle course, course now? With a yes. professional driver. Ooh, with a professional driver, <laughs> awesome. So I will do some video of that for you guys, but I wanted to check in with you and tell you that, you know, I'm of course actually in love with this freaking thing. Separate, separately lockable. Separately lockable. Okay. You can lock the rear alone or you can lock the front and rear. Right, um, but and not just the front. Not just the yeah, front, yeah. Um, the uh, Rubicon also comes standard uh, with the sway bar disconnect, which is oh, neat. very, very comfortable, yeah. and I, I have that on now. Yeah. Um, and on the automatic, I know some of us in the car are looking at the manual. So here's what makes the Rubicon especially uh, nice, is we can roll up this hill, so we're in second gear, I can bump it down to first, and it deepens the gear, but as we come down the other side, like I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but I'm actually not using the gas. Are you, oh my gosh! Oh, no. Are my you feet in low range? Are, I'm in low range. Yeah, okay. my feet are. Flat I feel like we're floor. going up a roller coaster right now. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, like run by run. <laughs> so That's great. Yeah. Yep. Like and this is what makes it really good. So now we've kind of stalled out, so I'll give it a little yeah. bit of help. But that yeah. we've gone that far That's, without gas. That is wow. really cool. Yep. That is very cool. And then uh, same thing as we come down to the gearing in itself. Is so deep, obviously, we won't do it because we have you know company at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the hill descent on this works really, really well. It almost seems counterintuitive on these vehicles because when one tire goes up, the other goes down, mm -hmm. which is the huge benefit of a solid axle. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But something very unique happens that when the tire goes up and it's maxed out upwards, mm -hmm. the other side can you actually continue to fall with a couple more inches, yes. which um, <laughs> most of your articulation comes from yeah. that down track. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying. He's trying so hard. Oh. Ruh -ruh. There's um, an old four-wheel drive technique called left foot braking you might mm -hmm. be familiar yeah. with. Mm -hmm. um, and they've kind of eliminated that on these newer vehicles like all the Land Rovers out here. Yeah. Um, so if you let the wheels spin, your vehicle will automatically sense where it needs the power and it'll just close down those brakes oh, uh, that's uh, very cool. to get more power to the other yeah. tires. Dude. So. Come on, dude. <laughs> I'm like in pain for that car right now. So with that older vehicle, if he would use that technique, he might be able to yeah, put to that spot. Right. So where's your guys' favorite places to drive? Everywhere. Mm -hmm. I, I, Doesn't I, matter? I, as long I like as you're to in a Jeep? Explore. Yeah, yeah, I like all the differences. Flagstaff is beautiful. It's one of my favorites. It mm -hmm. is. Me too. These back roads, I mean, I've, uh, a couple times, I've come around the lake to and yeah. from Sedona. Yeah! Yay! Yay. I took a little bit of it. Uh, <laughs> He yeah, stopped. That's, that's the first Dude. of my five. <laughs> oh no. Oh. We're gonna be here a while. Yeah. So tell me after hours, do you guys come tearing through here? Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh poor it's no. Music. Well, whatever this, you know, this marketing uh, has done its job today. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your next car is gonna I, be an automatic. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't I don't know if I go that far, but I, um, I, yeah, I'm impressed with the automatic actually. Yeah. <laughs> and I know my viewers out there are gonna laugh. <laughs> hey guys, I am now driving the brand new Cherokee. This is the Trailhawk version, yes, right? Yes, Trailhawk. And. Hmm. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> Don't move. It's like, what's that game? Chicken? The chicken? Or... Frogger? Frog. Oh, that was nice of him. Taking care of everything. Anyway, mm -hmm. so I'm in the Trailhawk, and 
and I'm taking it out onto the road and onto a, you know, a little dirt road. And then I think we're going to get to be driven around the technical trail on it. Are they, do they take this out on the uh, technical no, trail? No, unfortunately no? not. What? That tells you a little something, people. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that's the idea of this car. It's more of a city car. So I'm lucky to have Rebecca again <laughs> helping me helping me navigate the forest. <laughs> Although you probably know more about the product than me. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I kind of know a sad amount about, about Jeeps. <laughs> What can you tell us about the Trailhawk? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't know. I, I did search the product page a little bit, you know, when the Cherokee first came out because I had a Cherokee when I was in college. It had been my dad's, and he lent it to me for through through the end of my college career for like a year because my car died. In the, mm. I mean, it was gone. He had to rebuild the engine, and and I loved it. So when the, when I heard there was going to be a new Cherokee. I was ecstatic. Now this Cherokee is nothing <laughs> like the Cherokee that I had, but uh, but I'm still kind of excited to try it out. Now I did hear from one of my buddies, Tony, over at the Media Mart, that he was a little less than impressed with with the with the Cherokee. But it's kind of hard to get into a car like this, knowing the Jeep heritage. So we'll see because how it goes, it is everybody. Meant for the city? Yeah, because it's not, you know, it's not an old Wrangler. It's not the old mm -hmm. Cherokee. It's it's a city driver, really, I think. I'm on the dirt road. Okay, so it's not so technical. But there's some rocks and whatnot. Hey, Tony, so how did I do? I know that I'm not a full-time, you know, motor blogger, but I got to kind of pretend to be the average gal today. 